Hello, this is Ken, and I'm doing another card video, and today, it's just this, alright, today, uh, I got some cards I picked up from the Jacksonville Card Show, now, Jacksonville Card Show, they have this on the first Saturday of each month, and, uh, I usually, it's like 20 minutes from my house, so, uh, I guess I'm gonna start off with this, uh, that's right here. Uh, I got these from these two kids. They were like uh, 19 years old and they were selling these bundles. For only $5. So I figure, I'll, yeah, I'll pick one up, help help the kids out. But I noticed uh, this one. So uh, I'll, I'll, I won't show all of them, but just a few of them. But I picked it up for this. That's George Posada. Then I got uh, Justin Verlay. Uh, A Rod and Jason Giambi. Always like Jason Giambi. Uh, I had a Barry Bonds in it. Uh, Gary Sheffield. We played for the Tigers. C.C. Sebastian. Then they got like these, uh, like they're not actually autographs, they're printed autographs, but I, I like the way they look. Uh, Matt Plinker, pitcher, the Reds. Jerry Barfield. Uh, Matt Holiday at the Cardinals. I'm gonna hit this again. All right, uh, Chris Perez. I like this one. Uh, Nolan Rylan, Old Man Fan 300. That's, that's just, just a great looking card there. Uh, Justin Turner, this is 2014 Justin Turner, that before the beard. Then I have uh, ERA leaders. One of them is uh, Clayton Kershaw, as you can see. Uh, Sandy Koufax is on this one. I guess the, I don't have many Sandy Koufaxes, especially playing... I don't have none of the playing year Sandy Koufax, but uh, definitely not many Sandy Koufax cards I don't have. That's something I might need to look into. Uh, Brooks Robertson, Chops Baseball Flashback. That's an awesome looking card. Now I got one uh, that has Jason Abreu, Chris Carter, and Nelson Cruz. Home Run Leader. I got CC Sebastian. I think that was, a, I put the top cards. Uh, Hudson Boyd, that looks like a good card. And, uh, well, basically it. There's uh, Jower Towels, uh, he's a catcher for the Astros. That was basically it for the cards that were well known. Alright. I'm going to go on to this. Uh, these cards. I uh, also picked up uh, Bobby Witt Jr. To the Moon. I love this card. I'm going to show that for a while. That's a great looking card. I, I love these. Uh, to the moon cards. Uh, I will be buying more of these. Uh, got this at the card show. I'll probably buy more off of eBay. But these, these are just awesome. I, I look, I like the way they look. Die cut, and it looks like it's a moon. This is an awesome piece. 
I got 1948 of uh, Warren Rosa. I uh, got a little tear, but hey, I'll take that. I mean, it, but that looks in great con get condition to be that old. He played for the Philadelphia A's. But, uh, you know, except for that corner, it's it looks pretty nice. All right, uh, I'm gonna show a couple of these hockeys. Now I had to fill up my Bruins binder. So I got uh, Mike O'Connell. Peter McNabb. Dwight Foster, and Terry O'Reilly, which I have a Terry O'Reilly jersey that I really love. Uh, Terry O'Reilly, uh, one of the guys, uh, you look up his YouTube videos, uh, he's in a lot of fights. All right, let's see what I got next. Okay, next, uh, I love USFL cards. You know, I didn't get many of them uh, growing up. You know, it's hard to find. And then I saw, saw them at card shows. And I didn't buy one until I, my first one I ever bought was off of eBay. And then going to card shows, I find more. But here's my favorite USFL team, the Tampa Bay Bandits. So I got uh, Eric Trevelyan. Uh, John Reeves, uh, I think John Reeves, he's played for the Lions and maybe one or two other NFL teams before he went to the USFL. I got James Harrell. The only thing I don't like about these, like the first ones that came out, they had some action shots to them. Willie Gillespie, I think he played for the Bears, I'm not sure. Mike Clark. Mike Butler. Greg Boone. Hold that up again. Then we got Zenon uh, Andreessen. I think that's how you pronounce it. You know, and I got one of his, uh, the 80, I think these are 85, I got the 84. Then uh, I got uh, Brian Sight when he played for the Jacksonville Bulls. Then uh, I figure why not, I got a little dent on it. I uh, don't really like having that. But I picked up checklist. USFL, you know, why not? Uh, that's probably uh, one of the rare cards. All right, on the football. Now, this time I did not pick up no Steelers, which is odd. So, uh, I'm going to show you what's, what uh, football I did pick up. I picked up... Uh, Puka Nakua, rookie card. He was a great rookie. He was a great receiver this year for the Rams. Uh, I had to pick that up. And uh, when I picked it up, there's the back. It's a rated rookie. I picked it up. I paid $5. It came with a hard case. I, you know, I figure he, he's going to be a pretty good receiver. This could not go wrong. I had to pick this up. I love this linebacker in the in the in the late eighties growing up when I was playing high school football. We all loved this linebacker, Brian Bothworth. That's that's an awesome card. I really love having this. And I know he didn't pan out in the NFL. He had two seasons before that injury. 
uh, ended his career. But it's just a great card. I had to, I had to get that. Then I picked this up. Now this, uh, I've never seen one like this. Uh, and it's a jersey card. And uh, I always like how the jerseys on the Bengals look. Especially when they're cut like this. Let me tell you who this is. This is Mark Walton of the Bengals. Just look at that. That's, that is awesome. You know, and it got a piece of a number and jersey. And if you look, it's got like this metal chrome around here. I wonder if you can grade that because you cannot damage these edges. Because it's like a metal, gold like, or gold plated. Just, that's, that's just a great card. And, uh, I know this is going to take some time, but I am putting this back up. Alright. Also, uh, before I go on to the, my main purchases, also picked this up. Raw Lacuna. That is one of those pins they came out with this year. I was hoping to find the Ella De La Cruz. They didn't have it, but they had this. I figure that's worth a pick up. It's in that retro the throwback uniforms that he's wearing. That is, that's a great. I love that pin. You know, I like pin, buying pins in general, but that's just a great looking pin. All right. Uh, two I got to show last, but then I picked, uh, picked up this Tyreek Hill and I paid this much, $5. This is, uh, SGC and that's him with the Dolphins. And, you know, he's still a good, great receiver. They could, he's playing strong. I do not understand I mean, I know it's a, a, a base card, but, what's it, you know, it's like chrome light card. I mean, it's shiny, you can see. How, how, how would you sell, why would you sell that at $5? I would be selling that for at least over 20 But I picked it up, I was grabbing it. That's just a great find. Then, uh, you know, I've been looking for some Roger Maris's cards. And I got this. This is the post of Roger Maris. And this was the year that he broke the World Series. I mean, not the World Series, but the season home run record of 61. And he broke uh, Babe Ruth's record when he did that. Now, this is one of them off a cereal box. Oh, that's what the back looks like. Uh, that's just a great card. That will be put up in the top loader. Maybe one of the magnet holders. I really like that card. Alright. Uh, I'm not taking this out. But this is uh, a card that I have been after for about a year. Uh, this guy had these cards in the box. You know, he had the one that was on sale, and then he had some that were different prices. He didn't have this on display, and I found it. I pulled the trigger. I like, I'm getting it. Uh, probably one of the biggest purchases I've made this year. This is the Philadelphia Athletics Roger Maris. <laughs> Uh, that is a great looking card. I really love getting this card. This is a second year card. Uh, I got a rookie of his somewhere. Yeah, here's the rookie, reprint rookie, Roger Maris. That was with the Cleveland Indians. This is a card I really like. So, really happy to get this. This is awesome.
I like this a lot. All right. That's all I got for today. Uh, my next video, it will be where the following week I went to the same place and went to a TGC, which means trading card game, trading game cards, and non-sports cards. So that'll be my next video. And uh, like always, thank you for watching this video.